Hi guys, it's me Sonia. I'm back with another process video for you of scrapbooking video. And it's one of my pictures of my own. I'm going to be scrubbing two pictures that um, I took when I went to the mall in Florida and I visit the, um, the Carlos um, bakery shop in the mall. I adore his show. I, well, I used to watch it all the time and I just pray to God that one day I can go visit the real shop where he works and see him. So I was eating a cheesecake with um, a big old strawberry with gel on top of it. It was delicious. So I'm going to scrap those two. Sorry about my dog. Her name is Crystal and I have her in my room and obviously she's going to be bugging today. Quiet. Quiet. Mommy's making a video. Okay, so I prepped a little bit of things because I didn't want the video to be long and I am not going to do a voiceover. So it's going to be straight and um, straight in, um, hopefully not that long for you guys. So um, the first thing I prepped was I um, cut up this lovely sheet that came in my hit kit with the strawberries and I, I love this sheet. I was, I, I just wanted to hoard it. So I grabbed the other half to save for another layout of the same pictures. They're different pictures, um, but I still have. Maybe I'll make it a double page, who knows? But anyway, this is the first page. And I'm also on my silhouette, I cut out a strum, two strawberries that I made. I already prepped one and it's made completely glued on and it's 3D and the second one's going to be a shaker so that one I'll do on camera I also cut out the title and I already um, mounted it up the way I want it but I am going to do a little bit of mixed media and I'm going to use these um, the, um, the creamies from um, Shimmers this one's called Paradise Punch, and this one is a Shimmers, and it's called Pink. This one I'm using with splatters, and this one I'm going to use in the background. My paper's already prepped. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of this stenciling, just because um, this stencil reminds me of the little pits that are on top of the strawberry. So I'm going to be doing that, and then... Um, well, let's just get started. Let's go. Okay. Like I said, I did prep this video. I did, I'm sorry. I just prepped this page already with some um, gesso on it. So I'm going to mark where the strawberry pattern paper goes because I don't want any, I don't need any mixed media down there. So just going to do some little marks here just to tell me that that bottom part I don't need no mixed media so what I'm going to do is get my water in my brush And I always prep for these things, and once I'm sitting down ready to record, I still haven't prepped enough. So, I'm just going to spray a little bit of the water. I'm going to open up the shimmers that I want. And I love this sparkly pink. Just going to dab it. Let the water do its thing. And then I'm only going to put me some pink where the pictures are going to go. Okay. 
Let it run. Wish you guys could see all these sparkles. All the sparkles on here. It's awesome. Now the shimmers are very sparkly, like I said. But the creamies, I believe you have to put some water in them for a little while. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Lindsay's um, Cotton Candy Pink. It's almost the same color, but let those colors blend. Let me see something. This is one of the color kits that we that we got on the hip kit. Just want a few drops of that. Let it all blend. Trying to mix some reds, some pinks. Different shades. I also like to add some white paint. I think I put too much.
It probably looks like a big mess. Okay, my back room is semi-dry. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a minute and we're gonna work on my shaker, my scrubber shaker. My other strawberry. Okay, let's see here. I got the piece that I got from um, packaging. packaging. Any packaging can uh, will do. I'm almost out of my new bowl glue. I'm gonna trim the edges out. that. Now I'm going to put some foam strips. I got these at scrapbook.com. They're little thin strips. I'm going to fill it up with sequins. I'm going to go find my black sequins.
Okay, somehow I lost the voice or voice on the video, so I'm gonna have to do an over, over a voiceover. Um, the background's dry, and you saw all the shimmer, and I'm gonna put all these papers back on and try to see how I want the background to look. If I'm going horizontal or vertical. I kinda, I know I want the pictures um, right on the mixed media. Or at least one on it and one off of it. A little bit towards the middle of the mixed media. Um, I'm still not sure about how much paper I want to keep. So I want to just distress this paper a lot. Because I want it to look like the messy, gooey stuff that's coming off the strawberry. And I wanted it to look like it exploded in the back. So, um, I think I'm gonna go for vertical. Yes, I do. I go for vertical. So I'm gonna place these two together. And they're gonna go right there. Then I'm going to um, add all the other embellishments to see what goes where. Starting with the big cherries. Strawberries, I mean. They came out so cute. I love it. This layout came out so cute. I put the title on the top, but I ended up putting it on that side right there. That corner where nothing, there's nothing in there. I didn't want it to end up empty, so, and then over here, the title wouldn't fit the way I liked it, that I wanted it to fit. So that would be moved. I'm gonna cut more of this paper, just to stress it more. I wanted it to show a lot more of this paper because I love it so much. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start reattaching. Oh, actually, I wanted to do the background with some of these. Um, using the stencil that has little dots. And I wanted to put some texture paste on it. Just to make it feel like the little pits inside the strawberries. That you get them stuck in between your teeth. Those. And I think that adds a lot of texture to it. I love it. It comes out beautiful. Okay, so you see now that I'm going to go a little bit more faster and put these. And I'm also going to put the texture paste on the strawberries paper and on the pink paper. Cardstock. I love how this layout comes out. Okay, I'm going to glue down these papers now because they're all dry. And start building up my layout. I cut it a little bit with a pink strip, but I end up putting it right where it goes. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to place everything together, start mounting up my pictures, putting foam up behind them. Placing some um, pocket life cards on them, two on each side. 
figured out where I want my title. And I'm going to put a little bit of phone under the letters of the titles, too. And I went through my stash and looked up every single strawberry I had. Sticker strawberries. I'm sure I got more, but the one, I found a lot of them. And I'm, those I'm going to use all over the layout. Um, this is from Bloom Screen. That little strawberry, I'm going to put a foam adhesive behind it. I put foam on the title to lift it up. Glue that down. Glue down my strawberries. Next, I'm going to glue down the title. The title says On You. And you can't see it, so it's, it's because of the, um, the video editing that I'm using. It block, it only gives me the block, a certain amount of block to see. Either vertical or sound, or sound so you're going to lose some of the fur, footage of the bottom part. And if I zoom out more for you guys to see it, you barely see what I'm doing, so. This is the best I can do. So I'm placing my photos where they go. And I'm almost done. I'm just going to get start gluing all the little strawberries and putting foam adhesive everywhere. Yep. And um, let me see. Some of the strawberries didn't want to stick because I use gesso, just remember that if you use gesso in your background, you need to put some glue on it. It will not stick, it will not stay. Even if the glue is the hardest glue in the back, it'll still come off. Especially because I had some of that trans, tra um, texture paste on with the stenciling. My strawberries look so cute. Here I am just putting everything. That little box has sugar on it. It's in the corner. I think I end up moving it later on in, in the video. And here I'm placing all those little dinky little strawberries that I found on the Hit Kip Club from last month in July, from June and July. And I think August too. Wait, wait. Did I get my August kit yet? I am not sure. I don't keep track. Every time I get a kit, I just put everything together. This time, for this last month, I put, I separ I left it out, and I'm trying to use the kit by itself. I'm not going over into my stash and getting more things, but that doesn't work with me. I went in and got some more stuff. I mean, I pay for it, I want to use it where I want to use it, and that's how it is. I gotta do what makes me happy. Now, those little um, frames, they were given to us in a long time ago in a hip kit. And they just gave us some more in mint green. So I grabbed the pink ones and I said, I have to start using these. So I use the ones I had. Yeah, so we're getting to the end. Um, pretty soon is the still shots. And um, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications to all my videos. And I will, you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.